I've just received a call at the moment for a, a dog that's been tied to a bench in a park. The caller is saying that this dog is really thin. You can see actually all the bones on it. I'm quite concerned when I hear things like that, so ideally I want to get there as soon as possible. Even though he isn't at the scene yet, Chris knows that speed is of the essence. It's a beautiful sunny day. You know, if this dog is uh, in a bad state, probably got no water, nothing, you know, it's going to be stressing out, this heat, it's not going to be doing the dog any favour, so the sooner I can go and get it, the better. Unfortunately, cases like this are something the RSPCA sees far too often. You get some people, when they get to a stage with a dog that, you know, they no longer want it, it's, it's ill or it's, you know, they've not got the food to feed it or anything, rather than going down the professional, you know, routes of trying to rehome it themselves, some callous people out there will actually do this, just go and tie it up and just chuck it away like it's a piece of rubbish. The caller has stayed with the dog. Yeah, it's going to have to be in there, isn't it? Making it easier for Chris to find him. When I could speak to the caller earlier, I could hear a dog going mad in the background. The man who made the report is fellow dog owner Jonathan Maverell. Thankfully, Jonathan moved the dog out of the sun and gave him some much-needed water. I was just walking the dog, and as I got down, he noticed something, I looked down, and there's a dog just sat under the bench. And at the time, it's overcast now, but the sun was really beaming down. So I asked a few people if they'd seen anybody dump it, and I, and I walked it down here. And you've given down him some there. water, have you? Yeah, of course. Was he, did he want to drink and things? Yeah, he's drunk loads. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me get him off this. The dog is a male staffy cross, and after checking his collar, Chris discovers that he's called Ace. But with no phone number or address, tracking his owner down could be a problem. Just come back to the bench that the dog was tied to. I just sometimes, when people do this, they leave notes. He's tied there. He didn't have no shade, nothing, did he? Oh, well, we've got you now, mate. We'll look after you. Right, well, I'll get him back to my van, and now I'll get him down the kennels. With no contact details, all Chris can do is take Ace to the kennels, where he'll check to see if he's been microchipped. The day's events have left Jonathan struggling to understand how Ace's owner could have left him. I just think it's sick what someone's done to an animal, totally sick. Tied to a bench and leave it in this weather. I mean, look, the sun's coming out now. You don't leave no-one in this weather. They wouldn't leave a child, would they? It looks as though Ace has been well and truly dumped, but as Chris leaves the park, another dog walker thinks he knows who the owner is. Have you ever seen that dog before? Yeah. Who do you reckon it is, then? Chris manages to get some useful information from him, but even if he is able to find Ace's owner, Chris isn't in a hurry to give him back. I don't want to take the dog and they suddenly take it back, because chances are they probably would take it back off of me now and then give it back, uh, take it back and do something else with it. So why it's with me, why it's safe, I'm keeping hold of it, and then I'll go and see what their excuse is. That guy walking on the park, he's seen this dog before. He's told me he thinks owns it. Hopefully, if I go around and can prove that, that would be really nice, you know, really nice to be able to get someone for doing such a horrible thing to a dog. At the kennels, Ace is checked for a microchip. If he has one, then it will be a sure way of finding his owner. Ideally, you know, what would be great is if every, every dog was microchipped, you know, and then if ever we, we find them strain or, you know, then we can always find out who's done it to it, who they belong to. You know, we try and, try and advise, no, that's a no. Oh, you, sometimes you hear that ping and you just get all excited. <laughs> but no, no, no chip, I'm afraid. Having drawn a blank with the scanner, Ace will be staying here at the kennels until his case is resolved. He's obviously a beautiful, lovely dog, so, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that he'll get a nice new home and have a happy life. Hey, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> the person who dumped Ace was never found, but the good news is he's been adopted. And today, Chris is going to visit him to do the final assessment on his new home and owners. These kind of jobs are usually left to uh, the volunteers, but Ace, he did, uh, he did catch my heartstrings, and uh, he is a, a, a fantastic little dog. It'll be interesting to see if Ace remembers me, because it's been a little while now since I've seen him, so let's see, let's see how he reacts. Ace made such a lasting impression on Chris that he's been looking forward to this moment for quite some time, but will Ace recognise him? Can't wait for this. Hi there, you all right? Hi, my name's Chris. Ace's rescuers are Adam and Harriet from Derby. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, all right to come in and see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Can't wait. And from the sound of it... Oh, mate. <laughs> oh. Chris needn't have worried, as Ace is definitely oh, glad God. to see an old friend. He's looking really good. Oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Chris's involvement with the dogs he rescues usually ends after they go to boarding kennels, so today is a first. See, I never get to see this side of things. This is amazing, this is, you know. Can you pour? Good boy, good boy. You do both, do you? Yeah. Oh! For me, he is a stunning little staffy, like, yeah, yeah. just really beautiful gorgeous. colour, Absolutely you know, gorgeous. great temperament. If I hadn't got other dogs, he would have been coming home with me. Chris may have missed out, but Ace has definitely landed on his paws with this new home. Adam and Harriet passed the assessment with flying colours. Well, your garden's perfect, your house is perfect, yeah, so is. everything's absolutely so. And I can yeah. see, you know, he's obviously already really bonded with you. You're doing amazing yeah, yeah. with his training. For him to come in and yeah. have no problems and just settle yeah. like that, it's, it's great. He really could not have asked for a better dog at all. After a rough start in life, it's clear that Ace is now in good hands and Chris is happy that Ace's owners will give him everything he needs. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm so proud of you guys, I really am. And I'm, I'm so grateful as well, like, you know, without you, we wouldn't be able to have got him a home, so... Yeah. Thank you very much for taking Ace on. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you thank too. you very much. All right, see you. Take care. That was absolutely brilliant to go and see Ace in his new home, all settled and doing really, really well. And I'm just so chuffed that he's happy and he's, he's you know, he's obviously really enjoying being in that house and he loves the new owners. So just over the moon, completely ecstatic about it, really. It makes it all worthwhile and, and it gives me a real, you know, reason for doing this job. So just great.